Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I make tutorials and animations using Prisma 3D, a mobile 3D animation app for Android. Think of it like Blender or Maya, but for your phone. This tutorial is part of a series where I'll walk you through how to create animations right from your mobile device. Now I know some people say learning Prisma 3D is a waste of time, but it's not. If you already have a PC, sure you can dive into Blender or other professional tools. But if you don't, because PCs can be expensive, that's okay. Start with what you have. Your phone. Prisma 3D teaches you the fundamentals of modeling and animation. And those same basics will actually make learning Blender or any other pro software much easier later on. So, without further ado, let's get started. Once you open Prisma 3D and create a new project, it takes you straight to the workspace. Now, let's quickly talk about the interface. At the top right corner, you'll find the menu, where all objects and models appear. Right next to it is the arrow button used for rendering. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a set of options. The first is for importing models, the second is for adding text, the third is for importing lights, and the fourth is for adding a camera. All other options below these will be discussed later. Next, if you click on the cube in the scene, a set of new tools will appear at the bottom, including modeling options and other useful tools. On the left side of the screen, you'll find the modeling tools for working with faces, vertices, and edges. The other options underneath will be explained in the modeling episode. You'll also see the undo and redo buttons nearby. To switch to animation mode, simply click on the animation option, open animation, and then use the play button at the bottom. You'll notice that some of the tool positions change once you switch to animation mode. Everything else will be explained as we move further in the tutorials. That's it for this part. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.